Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders across the digital infrastructure world. We are coming to you from PTC in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii right now, and we've grabbed Colby Cox with DC Byte to talk about uh, quite a few things, including a lot of growth that you guys have been having in the Americas. But first, welcome. Yeah, thank you for having me. I look forward to the discussion and adding any value we can. Yeah, absolutely. And dressed for the occasion, I might say, with a great I, you Hawaiian know, you got to come prepared for Hawaii it's, and ready to go. It's Hawaii. You yeah. do have to come yeah. prepared. So I, I appreciate the yeah. game. Well, let's um, let's get down to it and let's yeah. talk about what you guys yeah. have had. You've had a lot of uh, um, you know expansion, a lot of things going on in the Americas since you were last year on JSA TV. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about the expansion of both people and places across the Americas? Yeah. So over, let's see, I've been with DC Byte now six months. I've tripled our team. Uh, opened a new office. Uh, we visited a total of 53 markets in the six months that I've been. So down into Latin America, uh, enhancing our team down in the Latin American markets to, to obviously better cover the very big emerging market, uh, as well as adding more and more staff to the U.S. So I'm currently looking at uh, adding an additional two more analysts uh, in the data center space for for the team in Virginia. So it's been an onslaught of activity, tons of new opportunities with customers, uh, and really taking advantage of the global expansion we've had with our EMEA and APAC teams and, and looking at some potential new things in MENA as well. I, I think I'm hearing a little plug saying that he's hiring people. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so. Well, uh, you know, all of these moves are designed to, to bring DC Byte's cutting edge analytics to the America's mm -hmm. data center market, which is mm -hmm. growing, um, at, you know, exponentially. I don't have to tell you that. So what are some of the growth and challenges that your team is seeing across the region right now? Keeping up. I, I mean, I think that's the that's for the industry in general is is keeping up with the power demands that we're seeing, the, the connection or the connectivity, I should say. Yeah, and just making sure we can get to everything that we need to. Yeah. yeah, so part of the way that we go about what we do is is actually visiting the market, seeing, meeting with the operators, meeting with the suppliers who are providing the equipment or goods, services, what whatever it may be for the data center. So keeping up with that pace of demand and pace of supply that's coming to the market that is really big. But right now we're we're tracking over 90 gigawatts globally. Uh, over 7,000 assets, a uh, team of 40, half of that is analysts. So it's really continuing to grow and find new ways to take the company and to be smarter about how we do things and continually advance the, the platform. Yeah. And since you mentioned that, you know, advancing that platform, how, how does the team plan to do that, you know, while driving mm -hmm. innovation and, and staying ahead of the curve when it comes to providing that global data center intelligence? Yeah, it's a great question. And it's it's something we're always actively looking at. You know, there's there's a lot of things from AI that we can utilize to help automate some of the, the simple tasks that are public facing data and content that we can pull in. Yeah, to be able to do that, I'm looking at various partnerships for companies that do things that aren't necessarily in our swim lane, swim lane, but they're advantageous for the data center community to understand. So how can we create the, the tactical partnerships to get us to where we need to go and then utilize the same technology that we're talking about on a day-to-day -day basis that to really help us be more focused on actually being in the markets, visiting. Uh, like as a good example, I'll be in Chile, uh, well, Santiago, Chile, uh, Bogota, Colombia, Costa Rica, and then more than likely Sao Paulo and Rio over the next three to four months. Uh, on top of a million other events and site visits, my team is out right now visiting Minnesota. They were in Chicago last week. We were in Arizona. So it's really trying to capitalize on all of the technology so that way the people can do what people do best and go out and have conversations, meet with the community and really get a better gauge for what's really happening in the data center world. That's absolutely a great yeah. way of looking at it and leveraging the people to the fullest, absolutely. Yeah, yeah you have to. I mean, that's that's our biggest asset is the people. Yeah, and there's a lot of stuff in the data center world that, that people want to automate, and there's a certain level you can automate, of course. Yeah, but at the end of the day, it's about the relationships. It's about how we interact with the operators, with everybody in the community, the private equity groups that are investing the capital into the industry and how we can build that out. We're also looking at 
additional paths that we can take to bring more of the supplier community in to really create a fully rounded out platform that will help from the life cycle of a data center deployment, site selection, cover everything. So it's really looking at ways that we can try to build it out to be the one-stop shop that we want to be. Yeah. Well, anything else that you would like our viewers to know about with what, all of the developments that you have going on? Uh, it's growth. Honestly, back to the plug earlier, if if anybody is looking to get into the data center world as a, as a data center analyst, do a bunch of travel. Um, <laughs> I'm definitely looking for people. Uh, so it's it's a good time to, to kind of get into the space. But outside of that, it's just growth. I mean, we've got a, a massive trajectory in front of us with with everything that we're doing globally and now really taking over the US market. It's in Latin America. It's, it's just gonna be a rocket ship from here on out. Well, we look forward to keeping up with you and mm -hmm. uh, hopefully we can get a, an update at the next yeah. JSA TV yeah. since it sounds like you'll have people in all corners of the world, that we essentially. Will. Yeah. So thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, enjoy the rest of your time here at PTC. And thanks to our viewers for tuning in. Stay connected, everyone.